Okay, so we have some big weather news, which is coming tonight and then into right. tomorrow. Right. I mean, for some of you, if you're a little bit farther out to the west, it could potentially arrive as early as three or four o'clock this afternoon, okay. and then progressing into the city as we move into probably about five, six o'clock. We've got an ice storm warning, which will go into effect for this very area you're looking at right now. The city, Lakeshore Drive, all could be covered with a nice little sheen of ice by later on tonight, making travel very difficult. Temperature-wise, right now. Now we're upper 20s, low 30s. I've got David Sproat and Bourbonnet at 31, Elton and Schaumburg at 29, Rich and Gurney at 27, and Patrice in Chicago coming in at about 30 degrees. There is an ice storm warning tonight, 6 p.m., generally to about 6 a.m. Wednesday. Ice accumulation is possible up to uh, four tenths of an inch. I think that would be at our highest. Most of the area will likely pick up, I would say probably about a quarter of an inch, maybe. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on accumulation numbers. That's difficult to pinpoint really because it depends on the road surface temperature and many other factors. And that's why this can be a tricky forecast for us. We do know that warning goes up again at uh, generally six o'clock around the city, a little earlier out to the west. And winter weather advisories only until new, uh, midnight for Lake and Porter and Kankakee because you will turn to rain a little bit earlier, make it a little bit easier on you guys. Radar picture right now is dry, nothing on it. We've got temperatures like 28 in Grays Lake and in Wonder Lake, 25 for Malta, 31 for Elburn. Head to the south a little bit, everybody in the upper 20s, low 30s. And then over towards northwest Indiana, we've got Burns Harbor at 32. Same goes for Hebron, same goes for Rensselaer. And then across the line again, over to Grant Park at 31 and Bourbonnet, also at about 31 degrees. By 5 p.m., we already have freezing rain around DeKalb and also around Aurora. It spreads east by 7 o'clock. We've got some in northwest Indiana, Midway, O'Hare, Waukegan, McHenry, Aurora, everybody pretty much. Unless you get down to Kankakee there, it's still rain. That rain transitions a little bit farther north as the temperatures right to around 32 degrees. But look at O'Hare, still locked in the freezing rain. Waukegan, McHenry still locked in it as well. In fact, I think O'Hare might have it for the longest around that general vicinity. We're at 1 a.m., about 33 degrees. Could potentially see some thunderstorms in the mix out there as well. But by 7 a.m. on Wednesday, it's gone. Question is, how warm is the ground? How well were the surfaces treated? and how much ice still remains of all of this. Now we're looking at forecast ice accumulation that will likely be as high as about three tenths of an inch at O'Hare. That is really going to slow any travel around that area, but could be as low as about a tenth of an inch. Either way, not good. We're looking at that mixture of sleet and freezing rain beginning tonight after dark. Possible ice accumulation. Again, I think it could top 0.4 in spots, but generally we're looking at a milder setup by Thursday. So tonight really into tomorrow is the tricky day. Both get, commutes. You just have to plan on more time than tonight That's it. and tomorrow morning. There's nothing morning. you can do. Right. That's there's nothing you can do, and they recommend you drive like 45 Max miles an 45. hour if you right. can do that. Thanks, Megan. Yeah.